Okay, so Kentune versus Central Agents, um, Education Agency. Um, what happened is that Mrs. Cantoon, she had a one-year contract with the school district um, for the year 1990 to 1991. And shortly after the school year started on August 18th, she hand-delivered a um, superintendent a letter of resignation. And she said it was effective on August 17th, so the day before. And so... Um, they received that letter on August. <laughs> well, yeah, the school district received the letter on that following Monday, August 20th, and they wrote an acceptance letter of the resignation letter and send it in the mail right away the same day. Well, the day after, August 21st, she, Cantoon, Mrs. Cantoon, decided she wanted to change her mind. So she delivered to the superintendent's office um, the withdrawing of her resignation. Well, superintendent didn't, want, didn't allow her to change her mind, and so she appealed. And then they just still decided against her. And so she appealed again. And then it went into talking about like the mailbox rule and when that's appropriate because it was talking about only um, under reasonable, it's accepted by mail under reasonable like circumstances. Um, Um, yeah, which makes, and the mailbox rule makes acceptance effective on dispatch, which well, the cl closes the, the deal and enables performance more properly and places risk. Anyways, it goes on about the mailbox rule, but, um, the conclusion ended up being that the judgment was affirmed that the commissioners of education was right for, it was a reasonable cause that they could mail this and that the mail offer was accepted. So, um, for, yeah, the school district mail offer was accepted. So the judgment was affirmed in the school district's favor.